Hello everyone, how are you all doing? I am Gavin Omar Dixon and I am the Managing Director for GovMed Solutions and this is our course, Selling GovMed Solutions. I will be talking about sales communication and relationship and how it affects online businesses. GovMed Solutions is a consulting firm that assists health professionals such as doctors with product sourcing strategy as well as a starting and managing of medical labs. The steps in sales communication include developing an idea by the seller, encoding the idea by the seller, creating an image with the idea, selecting a medium, transmission of the message, receiving idea by the buyer, decoding the idea by the buyer, encoding feedback by the buyer, transmission of feedback to the seller, decoding of feedback by the seller. The idea that is developed and encoded in steps one and two is then organized to form a product. The, I, the message that is created should be a solution to the problems of the customer. The message should be the sales presentation that is offered to the customer in the sales process. The next step is to select a medium via which you would transmit this message. The medium could be a telephone call, could be public speaking, could be email, a letter written to the customer, personal face-to-face -face visit. You can also use social media such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn to communicate with customers. Whichever media you use to communicate should be selected, then transmit the message. Your message should contain the idea that is received by the buyer who decodes the idea, then encodes a feedback and transmit the feedback to the seller. After this, there is a decoding process of the feedback by the seller in order to get an understanding. Once you are an excellent communicator, then you will be excellent at sales. Have you ever wondered why some online businesses generate more revenue than other businesses? It is because of the sales communication and relationship, which helps them to serve customers better. Service is always senior to selling in any economy. Communication is what keeps customers loyal and interested in your business. Your problem with generating more revenue for your online business is selfishness. You are selfish and thus you are not communicating effectively with customers. You don't want to talk to anybody, then your sales will decrease. Communication is the main element used to maintain relationships and build businesses. Relationship sales is focused on customer loyalty and communicating with customers to facilitate long-term engagement. The aim of communication is to create emotional connections to customers with your personal brand as an online salesperson. Sales communication allows you to establish relationships with clients in order to close deals, get income, and have ongoing business. Building relationships via communication takes a lot of time and to build with customers. Instant rapport is possible, but some customers may be unable to spend time with an online salesperson in order to build a strong relationship. You have to use different types of communication to build different relationships and reach different people. This is similar to closing a deal which requires you to use a different clothes for different sales opportunities. If you use only one communication channel, then you will lose chances of getting a customer that required you using a different sales approach. Three ways to build relationships via communication include researching your ideal customer, showing up, that is by phone call, personal visit email or writing a letter and three connecting with a customer which is by listening asking for feedback adding value having a conversation with a customer being real 
providing a solution, being patient, following up, and maintaining the relationship. When communicating with customers, it is important to find out how each customer regards the online salesperson and not how the salesperson regards the customer. Many online salespeople have opinions of how their customers regard them that are higher than the actual opinions of customers. You must become a trusted friend of your customer for him or her to regard you highly. Communicating with customers in order to establish an excellent relationship may take months or even years. However, it may take seconds to destroy a relationship. Personalize your online business by creating an image of a salesperson in the mind of the customer once he or she thinks about your online business. When communicating frequently with customers, there are two ways to realize that a relationship is being destroyed. These two ways include too much complaints from the customer or too little complaints from the customer. Your aim is to maintain some middle ground between too much complaints from customers and too little complaints from customers. Not too much or not too little. For more information, you can Google Government Solutions or you can Google Gavin Omar Dix. You can email us, solutions at gmail.com. Thank you so much for your time.